Hi, today I will speak about two things, the tail rod and this little piece, the inclinometer. I will start with this. This has a magnet, so I can put it where I want. I use this to catch the angle, so the latitude of a certain object I'm finding. Uh, this was uh, almost 20 euros in Amazon. It's um, a brand I don't know. It's, it was the, the, the cheaper one with uh, with good reviews, um, and it came fast and uh, is very accurate. That's the important thing. Uh, this is this have a, a a green screen so in the dark the the green light is very strong so what I did was to put uh, a sticker it's a film a red film I, I put two uh, one over the other and and it's it's fine it's enough um, this ring this uh, red uh, film uh, allows to make the observations without the light uh, interfere so with this this little film uh, you can be with uh, your scope without problems uh, in the in the vision so this uh, this is very simple to use this give you gives you the latitude so to start this button you is to level to zero so you put in the on the ground or here I, I did it here in the platform push the button and it, it goes to zero so it's level that's enough now when you want to turn off or on it's here usually it's off and I put it here when uh, I need to catch some, to find some some object uh, that, uh, for example, I, I can see very well, or I can see with the cell rod, a naked eye. Uh, to simplify the things, I go to Sky Safari Pro. It's the the app that I that I use. Uh, for me, is the best, and. Um, I find the object and I point to them, to the to the object, and it gives me the the latitude. So, for example, 40 is a, a latitude 40. I just have to turn it on and then point until I I get the 40, more or less, but. If you, you stay near the, the 40 is better. So then I I just I just know that don't need to touch the up and down. I only need to go left and right. So usually you are near the object, so you, you just have to go a little to the right, a little to the left, and you catch it. It's very very nice so if you don't touch it a uh, few a minute or two later it shuts down and as far as I know I, I didn't uh, have to align it again it's level so I didn't touch it and and it's still uh, with accuracy and that's the most important thing because to being accurate in the latitude, I know the latitude is not anymore a, a, a thing that I have to worry about. And uh, with the tail rod, it works very good. So the tail rod here, this dust cap, I, I talked about this in the last video, so I will not talk about this. Tail rod is a must have. So, uh, 
I bought also this vase. They have two kind of, of vases. They have one with uh, five centimeters and another one which is what I bought as 10 centimeters. And uh, I bought this on Master Shop also. And this, this 10 centimeters allow me two things uh, that are improved. When I I'm finding with Elrath, I don't have to stick the head here, like this, and I just have to do like this. This is uh, we better for, for the back and, and we have more comfort, basically. And we don't have to touch touch me. Um, especially if you if you use glasses, I, I suppose it's a problem because when I did this, the the glasses touch the the two, so it's better to to have this way. You can buy it five centimeters if you are not uh, very tall, but uh, I am, so ten is okay. And another thing too, because without the base, when I go to the finder like this, my breath goes all to the tail rod, so it gets full of dew and and I can see nothing in the tail rod for a while. And uh, what I, I did before, before I uh, bought this, uh, before uh, I buy this, uh, I, I use the tail rod uh, in the standard position and I had to, to hold my breath to, to go to the final. So now I don't have to, at least not so much, because when I go there, my, my breath go, goes here, this, this sector, so it, it doesn't affect the, the, this mirror. It's a tool that allows you to find objects faster, much faster, uh, especially the objects that you have uh, in, the, in, the, in the, the field of view uh, at naked eye. So it just point there with the circles it has, and uh, each circle has uh, the inside one is uh, half a degree, then two degrees, and uh, the outside one is four degrees. And uh, it's very useful to to triangulate. To if you know, for example, there's a star, and you know uh, it, it, by Sky Safari, you put them. The, the, the tail rod circles in, in Sky Safari and it touch the, the, the outside circle touch the, the one star uh, or maybe two but if you touch one star and you know that touching that star you have the, the, the object uh, in, in the field of view and uh, or, or you, you have to put uh, to imagine two tail rod measures so four and four uh, degrees uh, you move uh, four degrees, you put four degrees and then you move more or less four and and then you know that your object is there. Again, with the, the inclinometer uh, it will help a little more because you do that measure and then you find that you are one degree from, from the object and you move it and, and usually it's okay. Uh, to align the, the tail rod, this is important because I have always this aligned. You just use these three screws until uh, you do like you, you do with the finer. I, I will not speak about that because it, uh, a lot of people and you pr probably know. So uh, you align here with the, with the, the screws and, uh, and that's it. So two very important uh, objects to have, two tools. Um, I just have one more thing, it's a little gadget, it's not important, but for me it is, because uh, I use uh, Alexa and, and Philips Hue Hub, and uh, all my lights are controlled by Alexa and Philips Hue, so um, when I, I'm here outside in the dark, and uh, I remember something I need from inside, what I do is just touch this button, and uh, it turns the light, but red. So uh, the light inside usually is uh, the, the traditional white, 
but I shut down when I, I come outside. Um, I do my observations. Sometimes I need a, an eyepiece or whatever, and uh, I touch, just touch this button, and uh, the the LED turns uh, red, 50% uh, for me to to can enter without uh, falling and without uh, blow my my night vision, the dark vision, and uh, I come again outside. Uh, I have. Uh, enough light to, to come without problems, I push again the button and it shut down, it shut off the, the lights. Uh, so for me it's very useful and it's, it comes with a magnet, it's also like this. So I have this here, uh, it's just a little, a little thing uh, I wanted to, to show you, but uh, for people that have the um, the Philips Hue system or something like that. Uh, maybe uh, this was an offer uh, when I bought the, the red lights or the solar lights, lamps, and um, they offer now in, in the Black Friday they offer the, the button. So why not? I don't need it, but now I, I, I found uh, a, a good way to, to, to use it. And uh, it, 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 have, it has no weight, so it's very useful for um, for the light things. And they have uh, a nice night of stargazing. Well, thank you very much. Cheers.